This is a forgotten story of World War II, the Japanese invasion of Thailand. It occurred on December 8, 1941. It was briefly fought between the Kingdom of Thailand and the Empire of Japan. Despite fierce fighting in southern Thailand, the fighting lasts only five hours before ending in a ceasefire. Thailand and Japan then form an alliance, making part of the Axis alliance until the end of World War II. This is the, what inspired me to do this Dharayam. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Scale Wonderland. My name is Richard and today we're gonna build this awesome jungle diorama. So like every diorama, um, everything starts with the wooden, wooden base and XPS foam. So uh, I'm just uh, sculpting the foam and to get uh, the shape that I'm uh, looking for. So if you're new to this channel, um, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, press that uh, that bell icon because I'm gonna release uh, some uh, video every every other day or every week. And uh, I have a new Patreon now, so if you want to support me, uh, that will be greatly appreciated. So for the next step, I'm gonna use Sculpt the Mold. Um, it's uh, it's a sculpting product that uh, you can. Uh, I will put the link in the description if you want to buy it. It's a really uh, awesome thing to use uh, to build uh, some kind of texture to your uh, to your base. Um, after that, I'm gonna use burnt amber uh, as a base uh, color.
I finally had uh, more uh, more sand because I thought uh, that would, I was missing some. So uh, this is what I did. And I just add some uh, some random rocks, uh, just to add some more texture, uh, because terrain is are not like flat and, and things like that. So I just add the rock to get to add texture. The next step, I'm gonna use uh, some uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, to get a really uh, really nice layer. Uh, before I will uh, apply uh, my 50-50 mix of uh, Mod Podge and, um, and water. So you can use uh, regular tap water, it doesn't really matter. So you're just going to spray your, uh, your mix of Mod Podge everywhere to make sure that uh, your, your base will be uh, really sealed. And uh, after that you can move and add a lot of different layers also so so let it dry for uh, I would say a good four, four to six hours um, and now we're going to use uh, a static grass applicator uh, to put some grass and some more details to our diorama. So uh, again, link will be in the description if you want to get this one. I tried a lot of different static grass applicator, but uh, I figured that this one is uh, is really good. There's also some some really nice video on YouTube. Uh, I will uh, I will put the card there for uh, if you want to build your uh, your own one. I know that Luke uh, Luke Toen um, get uh, a really uh, really nice um, nice way of doing it. It's super easy. So if you want to do it, uh, you're probably gonna save a little bit of money. Uh, but if you're really handy, since you're a modeler, I think you are. So uh, you can do your own uh, static grass applicator. So after I finished applying my grass with my static grass applicator, uh, I'm gonna use a Vallejo uh, Earth Texture Acrylic uh, it's uh, the color is dark earth just to uh, to get a really nice finish uh, from uh, I would say the sidewalk and uh, the band of the river so uh, I'm gonna use it it's super handy easy to work with so um, I bought some super cheap uh, plastic uh, plant on uh, on Amazon and uh, I just put some paint and some spray paint with my airbrush uh, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't really look like plastic because uh, it's not going to be uh, really beautiful. So uh, so that's what I did. And after that, I just apply randomly on my di diorama uh, to make sure that uh, it's going to give us, uh, us uh, a lot more texture and more realism to, uh, to our uh, scenery.
to apply my plant and my uh, my tree I'm using uh, uh, a translucent tacky glue but honestly you can use a uh, PVA glue or, or tacky glue or even wood glue will work so it doesn't really matter if you have wood glue just use it uh, it's not going to be a big deal honestly So again, um, the next step will be to apply a mix of 50% uh, water, 50% PVA glue. Um, with this time, instead of using uh, a spray, we're we're uh, we're using uh, what we call in French a pipette. I don't know what's the right term in uh, in English to be honest with you, but uh, I don't know. You know what uh, what it looked like. So if it's not a pipette. Uh, just leave uh, the comment of the right term in uh, in the description below. <laughs> My native language is French, so uh, that's probably why I don't know the right term. But uh, like I said, in French it's a pipette. Uh, yeah, I can probably do uh, some some kind of a Google research to figure out what the real uh, what what's the right term. But uh, you understand, so it doesn't really matter for now. The next step is uh, since I'm gonna pour some uh, epoxy resin to do uh, to do the riverbank, um, I'm just using some uh, acrylic sheet just to do some uh, some base and to make sure that uh, the uh, the epoxy doesn't pour everywhere. So it's basically only to limit um, the 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 acrylic uh, the acrylic that I will pour. Uh, on the diorama so so to apply the uh, the acrylic uh, sheet that I cut I'm just gonna use a, a regular uh, glue gun uh, it's gonna stick and also it's gonna protect uh, the leakage of the epoxy uh, the uh, epoxy resin So I had this uh, deep pour water clear uh, from Woodland Scenics in stock, so why not use it? Uh, because I, I don't need a really, uh, um, really big quantity. So it's only uh, like a small, a small river bank. So it doesn't really matter. So that's what I had in stock. So I'm going to use it. So normally I use like gallon of. Uh, epoxy acrylic to do some other diorama but uh, for this one since I'm gonna use a really a really small amount so it doesn't really matter and I use also uh, a green tint uh, in it so um, to to make it like more uh, like river color or greenish uh, color To give uh, a nice finish to the river, I'm just going to apply a, a Mod Podge 
uh, on it, and then I'm gonna use uh, my uh, my a my airbrush to do some ripple. Just using the air, um, it's it's honestly it's a super nice way to get a really nice wave and and ripple uh, on top of your river. So uh, the result will be uh, it's not not will be, but the result is always uh, great. So. Um, So this is it, hope you like it, and uh, if you like the video, don't forget to uh, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.